Good afternoon. I am at the gate of the Calaveras APN 03400031221 acres. And it's off of Esmeralda Drive. And of course there's a discrepancy out here. I might be able to subvert this discrepancy and I'm hoping to. And that's this gate that nobody's driven down to in a long time. There aren't any tire tracks down here or anything. But it says on the sign that, you know, access is subject to approval of the owner. And, uh, well, I don't know where the owner is, but there's no tire tracks out here or anything. Of course, I can walk right around this, so, and, yeah, right to pass by permission and subject to control of owner, section 1008 civil code, with, of course, no phone number or any way for me to get a hold of anyone. Somebody has done away with this lock once before, and, uh, yeah, it's got two locks on it, and that familiar funny smell coming from this direction. Hopefully nobody messes with my car back there. But I'm going to go ahead and walk this way. Because I'm, I'm, I've got the Google Maps open, or Earth, with the APN open. Okay, that's just wind. There's some scat out here with berries in it, so i got to be careful never know. The big piles could be bears. But yeah, you follow this road down. If you could get to this property, typically, which I'm trespassing. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, well, actually, there is not a no trespassing sign. There is no phone number for me to get a hold of the owner, so I'm looking for the owner um, <clears throat> of the road. Yeah, man, that smell is real strong through here. Like, kind of, like, to where I don't even want to be down here. But, we're coming down here. Big pile of scat. That's bigger than what a deer dropped. I don't know what that is. Maybe coyote. But, yeah. The property... Uh, there's another few hundred yards down this road and then it goes up the hill and then there's all this manzanita and everything so if anyone wants to come out and look at this they'll have to park at the gate and uh, walk this road and then walk this hill and I'm pretty far down the road Let's see if Google will update my location here. So it looks like, according to this, if we go straight up this hill, we'll be on the property. And it is hillside. And it's really thick with manzanita. I mean, you're not going to be able to like just walk through there. It's not happening. Um, it's more of that. Anyway. I'm going to call this a 50-50 of a bust or not. I mean, <clears throat> I really don't want to leave my car back there. That smell is strong. I'm expecting skinny dudes with high cheekbones to show up with their guns soon. Okay, so I see this creek. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Man, it's really strong back here. I'm not going to go any further. Well, okay, I will. I will. Well, one good thing is we're really close to the Mercer Caverns, like within like three miles. The road you turn off into here, uh, you can uh, you see the sign. Man, it's really strong. That odor is so strong. 
Okay, so basically, yeah, we're right in front of the property, but it's a few hundred yards. Well, I would call that about a hundred yards up this Manzanita thicket. And it's that way the whole way. Man, that shit's strong, dude. I gotta get out of here. There's barbed wire here, so that's prop private property on the other side of that. But yeah, it's up this Manzanita thicket. And then it goes up and over the hill. So, I mean, I guess this is what you could expect to see, is this. And this road comes and goes all the way back around to the... Uh, I guess you could call that the northwest corner. It gets pretty close to that northwest corner, as a matter of fact, where the angled property line is. But it's all this manzanita. Tons of it. I mean, that could be good for someone. People do collect this stuff and do work with it. There's some massive quartz chunks out here, too. But we are in Calaveras, so it's gold country. We're, yeah, if you were to crawl through all this thicket, which is pretty intense stuff, you would be able to uh, get up on that property. But there is no trails from this road going up to that property. So... I'm going to go ahead and walk back down to my car. Okay, so that odor is coming from that direction, which is the northwest. That's where the wind's blowing from. It's pretty raunchy. Let me just go ahead and hold this here like so. But I mean, yeah, you could uh, pull right up to this gate and walk it. And hike up there. Bring a machete. You're gonna need it. I mean, that deer have problems going through stuff that thick. Man, that smell is real strong. It's right through here. It's real strong. There's like this valley right here. It can come up. The wind will carry it through these trenches. It's nice back in here. I mean, it's a big parcel back up on that hill, but it's, it is hillside. If you hit control and click and drag, you can see the kind of hillside it is. But there, there's a stream that runs off of it. And apparently the deer use that as a trail too. But yeah. It's Calaveras. Manzanita farm. Um, Manzanita. It's the same as the madrone tree. Starts out as a shrub, brush, and just gets bigger and bigger. It's a wild tree. It loses its bark. It's real smooth, hardwood. Good firewood. People make walking sticks, and I mean, you can see how long and stringy it gets. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I know somebody was looking for a bunch of this stuff. If I had a pickup truck, they'd probably be down here loading it up. <clears throat> I'd get about 500 for a pickup truck load of that. Nice long straight ones, especially these long ones here. Oh, that's the good stuff. But yeah, something running around the woods here birds or something uh, rustling the leaves it's about 105 today comes that smell again I don't know let me think here see there's a survey marker of sorts say we went a good quarter mile past the gate. The 
before uh, we get to that one corner where you can actually walk up the hill and get to it. And I apologize for that autofocus action. Uh, yep. Don't know if it's deer or something back there, but whatever. My car's still there. Windshield's still intact. It's a plus. Looks like the passenger window's still there. So yeah, there's this fork right here. If you put the center GPS cords in, it'll bring you right here to turn. And uh, it's a little drive. It goes to the gate, and then there's a little turn that comes up. And you can get back up on uh, Esmeralda there. But um, this is what we have. It's really thick manzanita. I wish there was like a foot trail going up there. I would march my rear right on up there. Look at this chunk of quartz. Look at this thing. This is huge. It's really huge. 